Hey everybody. All right, today you're gonna need paper, some pencils. Uh, if you all are using your notebooks, you can get your notebooks, okay? And if you did not watch the first video, I want you to stop here, go back to that first video that I sent today, and I want you to watch that particular video first, okay? Because this is video number two, so if you did not watch the first video, stop here, all right? Go back and watch the first video. I want us to learn all that we can learn, so I want you all to watch the first video first. If you already watched the first video, you already know, <coughs> excuse me, that that particular video taught us about integers. And Ms. Durham is going to write notes, and I want you all to take notes, too, on your papers. Integers. And from the video, we learned that integers in math really mean positive and negative numbers. So positive. And as always, my writing, you all. And negative numbers. And we know this is the symbol for numbers, right? So integers... Okay, really means positive and negative numbers, right? And also, you are learning about how to order them on a number line. So, Ms. Drum's going to draw a number line, and I want you to do the same, right? So, here, let's draw a number line. And usually, not always, in the middle here, we have zero when we're dealing with integers, right? On the right side of the number line, we have our positive numbers. On the left side of the number line, we have our negative numbers. I want to go ahead and name this number line because this number line goes from left to right. I want to name this number line east and west, okay? And you'll find out why in a couple more lessons. Why it would make sense in a couple more lessons. So the reason I'm naming it east and west is because it flows from left to right. So we're going to name this number line east and west. East and West okay now let's begin to plot our numbers all right since positive numbers go on the right side this becomes a positive 1 positive 2 positive 3 positive 4 and if I could fit I would fit a positive 5 and we know negative numbers they are plotted on the left so this would be a negative 1 negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, okay? So the thing I want you to remember about those number lines that flow east to west or left to right, positive numbers are plotted on the right side, negative numbers are plotted on the left. Now, butterfly, sometimes you'll run into number lines and they don't run east and west these particular number lines run north and south up and down okay so i'm going to name this number line north and south because it flows up and down right now with that particular number line the origin should be in the middle o zero where do you think the negative numbers belong at the bottom or at the top or do you think the negative numbers belong here and then positive numbers down here which one do you think so just like in the video when he talked about sea level, everything below sea level was a negative number. So negative numbers belong at the bottom, you all. Negative numbers. And then everything above sea level was a positive number. So positive integers, they are plotted at the north part of the number line. And negative integers, they are plotted at the south part of the number line, below sea level. And you can look at this as sea level, the zero mark. Okay, so let's get ready to plot. All right, here would be, I don't want to get a pen, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, right? Negative numbers go below sea level. Our positive numbers belong on top. This would be positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and if I could fit a positive 5, I would fit a positive 5. So the thing here to understand is that when you have a number line that runs north and south, okay, you know that the negative numbers 
go towards the bottom on the other side of the origin or the zero okay and positive numbers are plotted at the top above the origin or the zero okay very 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 good so let me take you back and let's talk about do, 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 do. I think it's here let's practice and I want us to practice writing some number lines right you all need to practice I want us to practice a little bit I actually made this video and then I ran out of storage on my iPad so now I have to remember what I said the first time here let's practice writing number lines and I want this particular number line to include negative 7 through uh, positive 7 okay so let's practice I want you all to draw your number line right and usually zeros in the middle usually not always you all but usually right and we know that positive numbers are on this side negative numbers are on this side of the number line right all right so we have to go all the way to positive 7 on the positive side and on the negative side we have to plot all the way to negative 7 okay so here I'll plot positive 7, this is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, and I want to remind us positive 4. Sometimes if you just see the number 5, the number 6, the number 7, you can assume that it's positive because it doesn't have a negative integer in front of it, okay? So sometimes they won't put the positive symbol, positive 5, positive 6, positive 7. They'll just put the number 7, the number 6, the number 5. When they do that, or when you see that in math, please know that it's automatically considered positive because it doesn't have a negative integer in front of it. Okay, so let's go on the other side. We need to plot our negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Oh, I said stop at negative 7 sorry okay so we've plotted everything that we need to apply the instruction said include negative 7 through positive 7 right let's try another one this time let's try one with north and south this particular number line should include oh why is it writing include Uh, let's do negative 5 through um, positive 3. Okay, so let's draw the number line. This time I'm going to do a north. I want us to draw or practice with a north-south number line, right? Up and down, okay? So I'm going to put my origin here, 0. We do the same. Now we know that Positive numbers go above sea level, above the zero, above the origin, and negative numbers go below sea level. Okay, so that's below the origin, below sea level, below the zero, right? All right, so let's plot. I have to include on the negative side, all the way to negative five, and on the positive side, negative three. Because negative 5 is here first, I'll do that first, right? This is negative 1. Now I'll use green. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay? Now I have to plot or make sure I plot on the positive side of the line, positive 3, all the way through positive 3. So this is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. We need to practice you all, and it'll make a whole bunch of sense when we go into plotting on coordinate grids or coordinate planes. And Ms. Dorn wants to make sure you all have a basic understanding of integers before we go into that, okay? It makes it a lot easier for you all to grasp the concept. So let's practice this, right? I want you all to practice on your own, and I think I have some practice problems already written up for us. <laughs> Let me see if I still have it on my paper. I hope so. Oh, no. Maybe not. Oh, 
I'll try one more time. Okay, so maybe I don't. I'll see if I can come up with them again. And you all can pause the video if you like. So that you can copy them down. All right. So for the first practice number line. I want the first one to include. Uh, negative 7 through a positive 5. Okay? Four, and then this one should be a east and west number line. Okay? The next one. Practice number line number 2. It should include uh, positive 4 through negative 4. And this one should be a north-south number line, up and down number line. Let's look at number line number 3. It should include uh, a positive 10 through um, da, 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 da. negative six and then that one should be your choice you get to choose whether you want it to be a north south number line or an east west number line left right or up and down it's up to you and then the last one number four will be the hardest or I don't want to say hard challenging just a tiny 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 little bit buddies Okay, so this one should include, and this one you will use on the next part of the assignment, which we'll talk about in just a second. Include negative 17 through positive 20. Okay, so pause it here if you need to. Practice those number lines. A lot of you all doing really good with sending the pictures. Devea, thumbs up. Nancy, thumbs up. Ariana, thumbs up. Juliet, I'm waiting on you. What happened? <laughs> Get back into it, buddy. Everybody's doing really good with their check-in questions. Good job, Steven. Good job, Ariana. Uh, Eliana, good job. Very good, you all. Uh, if somebody checks on Valentina, that would be perfect. I hope she's okay. Good job. So everybody's doing a really great job. So keep up with your study out assignments and also your check-in assignments and your math assignments. I want to make sure that we stay smart. Okay. And hopefully this thing will be over whenever God says it's over you all. Okay. So here, pause it here, do the video. Ms. Durham's going to move on to the next part of the assignment. So I'll see you when you come back. All right, so since you all have your last number line, and my iPad is not that wide, so I'll get as many integers on this number line as I can, you all, okay? We're gonna start at zero, negative, uh-uh, this is positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive five, positive six, positive seven, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay. Now, just like in the math antics video, he was trying to explain to us that as we go this way on the number line, the values get bigger, right? Because 1 is bigger than 0, but 2 is bigger than 1 and 0. 3 is bigger than 2, 4 is bigger than 3, is bigger than 2, is bigger than 1, is greater than, so 5 is greater than 4, so as we move this way on the number line, okay, the values get bigger, value is bigger, and you're going to need to take notes, okay, so your brain will log it in. So this would be the greater than side. Greater than, okay? Now, 
The other side's a little different, you all. Sweetie pies. Even though the numbers get bigger as we move this way, one, two, three, and we've our, we've learned earlier in our lives that four is bigger than three, five is bigger than four. But on when you're dealing with integers, that's not the case. It's kind of like the opposite. So here, on this side, negative one is bigger than negative two. It has a higher value. Negative two is greater than negative three. It has a higher value. Negative four, even though we've learned four is a higher number than three, when you're dealing with integers, it's not. Four is less than three, okay? Five is less than four. A negative six is less than negative five. A negative seven is less than negative six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay? So as we move this way on the number line, I'll uh, use green. Okay, on the number line, we go to less than numbers. The value gets smaller, it decreases. 